Hello, I'm Douglas Maddy and welcome to Altered Perceptions. In these videos we're going to be looking at the performances from the TV show Pen and Tellers Fool Us. I'm a magician with over 25 years of experience and I'm going to be watching these episodes alongside various guests so that we can get the perspective from an audience member's point of view as well. Alright, Garrett Thomas, a name I can pronounce. Let's have a look. Teller, you are known as a master of sleight of hand. And I'm going to do something bold. I'm going to do my sleight of hand right here under your nose if you'll join me. Please, Teller. See, straight into it. Boom. Like it. No corny jokes, no nothing. I want you to have a really close look at this. Examine my hand. Make sure there is no uh, prosthetics or the fingers are solid. I'm just saying, he didn't get to examine the other hand or the ring, did he? Because he was examining one hand, but he didn't get to examine the ring, so that's yeah. interesting. We're going to go from one finger to the next without going near the fingertips. It is painful, but all the way through, all four fingers, just like so. You're not gonna let go, but hold your breath. Make a wish, count to three. You can check it out. Not the top of the fingers, but all the way down. This is precisely why we don't tell you how it's done. Because knowing it ruins the whole thing. Thank you very much. It's very smooth. I don't know what that praying thing is. Is that something to do? Is that part of the magic community that's gone to secret handshake? I would rather spend a moment with each person than do a big show. Having someone up close is, to me, the best, the best part of magic. Well, it depends what kind of spectator you got. Because if he's drunk, like, eh, come on, then. So ah, I saw you do that. Do it again. Yeah. Like, it's not always the best connection to make. The fun to man, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's exactly right. So, so what did you think of him? It's really good. Really good. Um, yeah, like you were saying, it's best performance, I'll say. No kind of waffle and straight into it. And he's very clean. Um, His hands and sleeves yeah. are rolled up. He's got one ring that's examinable. He's saying, look at my hand. Like, he's very, and right in front of his face. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah, it's, the effect was really good. Um, what He only examined the ring after. after. Is it possible to do the first set of effects he did with a fake ring? And then the second ones... Yeah, I know that he or... sells, I think he sells this as a trick or something like that. And I, I haven't bought it, I don't know, but I've kind of got a rough idea of how it's going. So I don't want to talk he's too given much the ring about to it. He's take back to the chair or out. Has he? Yeah. Oh, I didn't he's even say back, that. He took it back to the chair. With the chair oh, okay, out. cool, yeah. But he could have swapped that halfway through. Well, so the first I'll say this for you and then we'll just cut out the video. It's like half a ring. So okay. it's like half a ring that fits on top of a normal ring. So you can palm off the half ring and hand the real ring to escape. Because when you see him do that, yeah. he's literally like, I ain't got a ring on me, ain't got a ring basically what he's doing any of the fingers you need <laughs> no. to be a magician so <laughs> as he puts it on his finger there he's taking off the ring and leaving the half a ring on there as he puts it over to the next finger then he's popping that onto there so all he's doing is taking the half a ring over to the real ring okay. and that's and he's kind of doing that as he's changing showing you the front and back he's yeah. taking the ring on and off well the yeah. fake half fake ring is what I remember by the yeah. looks of it so it could have been examined any time and then all so that other regular. stuff where he's doing all that kind of stuff that's just just put the ring on there and then doing a switch. Well, the fingers were silly. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like the fingers. Too. Well, the fingers thing. That, one that, was that good, That's wasn't like it? that. Yeah, it used to be that. So I don't okay. know how that. Yeah, no, you could see in the camera. The camera had a bad shot at one point. You could see yeah. his finger just behind. But the you, yeah, but he just kind of done that and then done that, something like that. I yeah. don't know. It hurts my hand to do that. I haven't practiced it. But the thing I like about it was when he did that, he's taken, he's done something like that where he's pretended to take the finger out somehow like he's pretended to hold like a finger like he's kind of done that 
and take it, put it back on again. So he's kind of like missed, like in the same way that that pretends to be that. Yeah. yeah so do, marks out of ten. Sorry, what are you gonna say? I, I was gonna say, do the angles make it difficult on a stage doing what he did? Yeah, I mean that was all very angly, and like James said, it's like yeah. But I think if you see done. on the top right, there's a big screen for the audience. So if he's that far back from a lot of them, they're probably going to be looking to the screen to see it anyway. Mm. I don't think a lot. Maybe. But, but we Tell saw us it on here. Yeah. It was kind of different to the audience, mm. wasn't it? See side on. And... Yeah, actually, Teller probably saw less being that close than you would do if it was filmed at the wrong angle and it's put on a big screen. Yeah. So I want to give it a nine, but I'm not sure. Okay, well, you, while you're thinking you about it, we'll just digest it a minute and think. So, uh, have I asked this? Do you think he's full Penn and Teller? I don't think he has. But there's multiple. You don't think he's full them? No. There's multiple tricks, isn't there? That yeah, there's this routine. Right. Yeah. So, I'd be surprised because Teller's obviously an expert in close up. So, sorry, you, you do I'd think he's I'd be surprised he's fooled if them. he's fooled them. I don't think he has. Did he fool you? Yeah. Right, okay, cool. And so, what would you give out of 10? I'll give a nine. I'm nice. generous. Really? Yeah. It was quite skillful and it was ballsy it was. to go up there yeah. with one one prop, a ring, and all your sleeves rolled up and do it right under the nose of, like, because even if you just did a basic trick, to be standing there under them lights on a TV show, you're going to be nervous. So to do yeah. all that close up, it was smooth. Spot, like, very smooth. It was yeah. good. So, yeah. yeah. With the exception a... of his fingers, he didn't cheese it all up either. No, it was just straight. Well, he, yeah, he, just got, he just did his trick and it was yeah. well presented. Yeah, just not very crisp routine. Very well done. And you just killed the audience. They absolutely loved it. I need to start doing that. <laughs> Japanese. Is it? What does it mean? It's just, it's just hello. Thank you. Just hello, thank you. Just, just like honor. thank you. Honor. Oh, okay. The only thing we can think of is that you have a ring that is so carefully constructed to come apart in halves, either with a very strong magnet or with a shell or something Is he allowed like to say? If you have that ring gimmicked in any way, we're not going to give it to you. If you did that in any way other than that, with what would have to be pure sleight of hand, we're not going to cheat and say, okay, it's sleight of hand, because we didn't catch you on anything. If it is anything other than a ring that comes apart, you have fooled us, and you make the call. Doesn't prove it. I want your word. I trust you more than my eyes. It is an absolutely normal ring. It does not come apart. It does not come apart. You fooled us, sir. It is a normal ring, but it's a gimmick that goes on the top of it. No, he said if it doesn't come apart, it doesn't. It's got a bit on top. It's this is with the John Archer thing. Yeah, again. This, is, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. This is what, yeah. And I thought you said he gave him the ring to take back to him. Yeah, I think he, I thought he did, yeah. I'm sure he did. So he didn't really fool them, like... No, because he said, like, half a ring, yeah. So it's a ring and a half. It's not... A ring that splits comes apart. Half. Yeah. Because it, it's basically just like a shell, you know, like a shell yeah. coin. It's the same as that. Yeah, but like with the circles. Yeah. yeah. Penn was very specific as well. Penn said if it's anything other than the ring coming in half, and it doesn't come in half. Mm. So he was very, very specific in his yeah. criteria, so... But the method is, is exactly the same. It's semantic still. But the, the method is exactly yeah. the same. It's half a ring. So I think he deserved that trophy. And you are right. It was very specific about asking him about how the ring was gimmicked in some way. Yeah. And so if he's being honest and it passed that test, then he deserves the award. And I think he just deserves it anyway because it takes a lot of sleight of hand. And you can tell it's an original routine of his to, you know, he's really yeah. worked on that. So it's just no way of performing that gimmick with any move. Performing the gimmick, performing the tricks he did. You need a gimmick to perform that routine. Yeah. It's just that the gimmick wasn't what they thought it was. Yeah. But it was. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll be notified of our latest videos.